Coaches often say play for the team on the front of the jersey, not the name on the back. But sometimes those letters can mean just as much. To me, I feel like this game would be the game that I remember the most in my college career because it's not about me. You know, it's about more than me. In June of 2015, the Nichols were on a family vacation when eight-year-old Emmy started showing signs of what they thought was the flu. She would projectile vomit, complain of a headache. A lot of crying. Just continually, she got worse. After being admitted to Children's of Alabama, doctors discovered the worst. I was told that we, that Emmy had a brain tumor, and then we were told it was cancerous that night. So. We had our world flipped upside down from a healthy girl who we thought had a virus to now we have cancer and a brain tumor. Two days later, Emmy had surgery to have the tumor removed. It was very tough watching her because not just because she's my daughter, it's because she's our youngest and you know, you never want anything bad to happen to your children. During her time in the hospital, the Nichols family found comfort at Children's Harbor, a nonprofit that provides counseling and support. And you really learn, gosh, your extended family is not always blood related. The Nichols soon found out just how far that extension went when members of the UAB football team showed up at Emmy's bedside. When Coach Clark came into the program in 2014. He he said something to all of us as former players. He said, you guys are family. Will played for UAB from 91 to 94. With two sons, he never imagined his daughter would be the reason the name Nichols would once again be on a UAB uniform. We're going to wear the name on the back of our jersey of, of a Children's Harbor, Children's Hospital. Patient now, former patient, recovered patient. Uh, to recognize them and really take the spotlight off of us and put it on somebody else. Overwhelmed. Um, you know, part of it is because I played there. I'm, it means a lot to me. At UAB's homecoming game, every player wore a child's name instead of their own. Each tackle and touchdown score a way to honor, cheer on, and point back to those patients. Those kids are just the toughest. I don't understand how tough they are. Of the nearly 100 children represented, some weren't able to sit in the stands. But he had a smile that would light up the whole world. Corey Bishop passed away last year. Just seeing his name, knowing that he couldn't, that he couldn't do it, but knowing that part of him is still out there is, it's really special. Shaq Jones played for Emmy. It's very special to me. There's so many children who have life-threatening diseases or things like that, and they may not be able to do this again, so. For Shaq, Emmy's story is even more personal. It's something that a lot of people don't know that I haven't told anyone. Um, the condition that she had, she had a tumor in her brain. Um, my mom has the same, she suffered with the same problem. When I met her, I was just like, yeah, I, I would love to wear, you know, your name represent you, but not only am I representing you, I'm representing my mama, so it, it's like a perfect match. Everyone on the team suited up for someone, and they weren't going to give up on this game. 30-yard attempt, middle of the field, snap, spot, kick, oh, it's blocked, they blocked it, picked up by Barnes, running to the near side and tackled, UAB wins! Fairy tale ending belongs to UAB! In the locker room, the team knew who to celebrate with. An unbelievable finish for a team that brought these patients' fight to the front, so you'll never forget the names on the back.